Welcome to today's video. It has been a while since I've done a Kerbal Space Program video. The save that I last did the video on, more than likely I ended up um, crashing the game because sometimes those planes will crash. It. Like, if I'm not mistaken, I think that save was the one where I got out of my plane and then got stuck under the wing between it and the world and the plane started bouncing on my head until it bounced me through the world crashing the game so well I want to crash the game the saves done like this is one of those games where will your save still work or will not no if the game crashes just go in and delete your save it will not pull that save up again now the reason behind doing this video is they are releasing Kerbal Space Program the enhanced edition in on January 16th which if I'm not mistaken is a week from Tuesday now oh and I also have to mention so as like the save is not there so since I don't have my fighter jet and I don't quite remember how to build this it's been a while since I played I'm using in the first part and I share for get both clips but the first clip is the Raven Spear MK4 we get to the second one it's a dove now I haven't played this game in a while because like the controls are complex and honestly don't when doing this I didn't quite remember all the controls I barely remember the ones to get it off the ground but there are going to, in the enhanced edition there will be new control controls presented and all the information I'm telling you guys I'll have a link to the original stuff in the bottom but there's simplified which is they have listed as a look at system which I'm taking is you just kind of move the uh, left joystick over the thing and then click X to interact type thing they have the cursor which they have listed as some of the current but they also have radio which th given what they say is kind of like closer than normal like the combo is combines the simplified and cursor which is kind of what we've got now where some of the stuff you use cursor some of it you don't and there's going to be new maneuver node control schemes for all well, maneuver nodes and what this will be is you can use the bumpers instead of the cursor which I gotta say, I'm hoping like that's a good improvement. But I also hope to fix the node because sometimes the nodes didn't seem to work. That's why I, like I went to orbit once and that was it. But it's cool to have the bumpers because then you don't have to like hit or miss on it type deal. Because like, that kind of seemed like the issue was it's hit or miss as to whether you hit it or not. There's the yeah. So looking at the time left, we're not gonna get to the dub, but. Like this is the better plane to do this for so the also will be the update 1.22 well 1.2.2 .2, which is the loud and clear update which given its name and what it does is it sounds like it was we've heard from you what the bugs are and we're gonna fix them and it's loud and clear which basically when you break it down means overall improvement to the previous game now I say previous game and not update because it is going to be its own separate entity the control scheme is going to be for that like this version will stay as is I don't know if they're going to fix anything it's like the trophy list is bugged on this I don't know if they're going to fix that or anything but it's its own separate entity and so you basically are gonna get a duplicate trophy list because they said you can earn this, the trophies a second time which means the trophies are gonna be saying no new ones which is kind of sucks like I wish they'd add some trophies for flying the planes and they don't really go into detail about cost is what they say is if you own this version here I'm taking it digital like if you, I don't know if they did a hard copy or not but if they did a hard copy I don't think it'd apply because sometimes that stuff doesn't correlate over 
I'm not, I'm not going to guarantee that it doesn't, but if you own Kerbal Space Program, at least in the digital form, you get to get the game for free. So, like, can't be a free game, especially with Trophy Hunter. Now, like I said, they don't say a price, so I don't know exactly how this is going to work, whether it's anytime you buy this game, you get that game for free. You can't buy that game without having this game, or if once it's once a pre-order, well not pre-order, but like once that day comes and if you don't have it, then you gotta pay for it type thing, and they don't say a price. So like I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna work. I'm not going to know because I own this game, and so it will show up free for me. Like I may log out and check that way, but so that that's basically where we stand on this. If you're a trophy hunter. Make sure to pick up the game, so that way you get the double list. Just be aware it's going to take a bit, because like, it's a lot of a lot of trophies you can't get on planet. Like I don't think I got, I got a few trophies for on planet stuff, but most of them are like, do a pass by by this object, land on this object type thing. But, it's de and if you're into space games, definitely pick up both versions, but, so you can compare for yourself. That is it for today. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm going to let it run a little longer so you guys can see what happens to the plane. But thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.